All right, round two. My opponent here, Peter, this is his third time playing in a store. Yep. So he's still kind of learning the ropes, so go easy on him, you two. <laughs> he is on the play. We All both right. kept seven. Uh, I'm going to play Island Tap It to uh, play Spectral Sailor. Yep. Playing against the same deck again, basically. Uh, Watergate, Peter. Okay. Play an island, and I'm gonna tap two to play Supreme Phantom. I'm just gonna hit you for two. Ouch. Eighteen. Also. Yep. Mountain. Pass. <laughs> I always turn people's deck around backwards. I was like, that's two in a row. Yep. No, it's how I put the back deck back <laughs> down, and it tilts everybody. So I keep doing it, of course. <laughs> uh, I'm going to play Deserted Beach. Mm -hmm. uh, it doesn't come in tapped because I control two lands. Uh... Hmm. I'm just going to attack with two, so that's three damage. Fifteen. All creatures. Your go. That's a pretty strong effect. Play swap. Four cards in hand. Yep. I'm going to cycle this on your end step. Uh, Discard, draw a card. Draw a card. Okay. Discard. Okay, go to my turn. Skulls on it. It's a swamp, so it enters untapped. Okay. Um, Alright, I'll take two damage. Path of Peril? What does it do? Destroy all creatures, two mana value or less. Okay, in response to that, I'm going to play a tap two and play Lofty Denial. Tap three. I also pay four, right? Play yep. Okay. Uh, pass. Me on tap all my stuff before I draw. Okay. Then I'll go to combat phase. Oh. Uh, then this comes out from the grave. Yep. It's going to target your mm. sample sphere. Can I read that? Oh, yeah, go ahead. I don't know if I played that wrong. Okay, I want to see if it was any spell or if it was like instant or sorcery only. Whatever. Yep, crew has haste. And I'm going to send the 6 5. And I'll I'm going to tap one seven, seven, to play Mausoleum Wanderer. Mm -hmm. And okay. I'm just going to attack again with these two. Oh, three? Okay. Yep. Three. I, I didn't even realize that. Twelve. I, I'll, I'll talk it does that. Here go. I didn't realize it does all the things. Okay. That's, that's better than I thought. <laughs> okay. End of turn. This goes back in my hand. I'm going to pay two life and shock that. Yep, here we go. Somewhere. There's a ten. That's alright. Um, is that really a version? So I just got to place out to one nine and then I'll kill again. Okay. And then when I do the battlefield, you get a. Yep. Um, I'm going to pass, but I'm going to stop you on your upkeep. Okay. So after you untap, but before you draw. Got it. And I'm going to cast and Fatal Push on the Phantom. Okay. Destroy target. Um. Huh. Uh. Like, I can play something right mm -hmm. now to counter that, right? At instant speed, yep. Okay. Okay. 
Well, like, I'm wondering, because... Uh, you know what? That's fine. Okay. And draw step. And main phase. Okay. I might as well put this on the field. Sure. And then I will... I'm gonna... Tap two to play the Watcher Spheres, so... Flying spells cast or cost one less to cast, like one less mana, less color to cast. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna channel near shellcraft. Okay. Oh, Kinda else you pay three. Maybe I uh, Unless I play three. Maybe. Or pay three. Oh, yep. Okay. Instead, uh, pretend you didn't see that. Nope. I'll, I'll put a bank buster instead. Uh, for two. And then I will pass it. I'm just going to attack with both uh, these. Switch, Two? Switch. Yep. Go to eight. Okay. And pass. I'm going to crack a fabled passage. Oh, right. That's the one that actually I bet you have some flashing experience or something. Fancy. Draw a card. Gonna play. I'll play another. Let's see game. if he's got a spell, Pierce. What is that? Fires of Invention. What does that do? I oh, that's the one card you were showing me earlier. Uh, I'm gonna tap this to play Spectral Sailor. I'm gonna sacrifice this to counter that. Oh, I forgot about Mausoleum Wanderer. Oh, you can't. Wait, can I not do it's that? It's instant or sorcery spell. Oh, crap. Yeah, it doesn't, yep, it doesn't counter enchantments. Okay. Well, all right. <laughs> I don't have anything for that, so. So spell two, so that's my first spell. Yep. Spell two, I'm gonna cast Nickel Bolts. I'm gonna go up. So I draw a card and then each opponent exiles a card from their hand or permanent they control. Okay. So I have to exile? Yes. I'm just going to exile that. Okay. And then it's your turn. Oh, that's hard to deal with. Yeah. It's like my pet card. You can read whatever you get. Oh, yeah. Me. You have one mana? Minus eight literally says you lose the game. Well, not literally. It says you lose the game. Yeah. Oh. Oh, I see. And it's at a five right now? Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, yeah, okay. That's I, tough. I see how it exhausts the spell. My bad. Trying to figure I, out I realize how I like even deal with this. Like, do I just like try to kill you? Okay, so this is <laughs> Probably. Exactly. Or, you know, the, like, oh, it's going to go up every turn. Yeah. So effectively, like, right now, you do one damage to it. Um, well, so, yeah. as in, like, do I try to kill you or the Planeswalker? Right. Right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um. Yeah, like if you attack it for two, it goes to three, and then it goes back to four. Yeah. So like it, you don't make much progress on it. Most people tend to like ignore it until it's on eight, and then just hit it for one to keep it off. Got if it. That makes sense. But also it has a minus three to destroy creatures. <laughs> so. Yeah. So yeah. I'm trying to figure out if I just like unload my hand to just try to kill you. I'm just gonna see what this does. I'm gonna play a Mausoleum Wanderer and a Shackle Geist. So this gets. Yeah. So I'll go to eight then. Okay. So this gets uh, two plus one counters on oh. it. Uh, oh, plus okay. one, that plus one until end of turn. Yeah. yeah. Yep. So it's three, three right now. Yep. Okay. And I'm just gonna hit you with both of these for four. Go to four. Yep. So I have to find an answer. Here go. Need a board wipe. So play that tapped. Mm -hmm. So spell number one, I'm going to cast Granted. Okay. Or something from my sideboard. And this is X equal to its power, so it's a 1-1, one, well, one, right? Well yep. I'm going to play Sky Sovereign console ship. I'm going to try to... I'm going to mess with it. I'm going to grab Supreme Verdict. Darn. 
spell number two will be supreme verdict. Okay, what does this do? Can't be countered, destroy all creatures. Got it. Okay. Sure. And now a plus nickel bolus, so I draw you exile. Oh, so you drew your spell color from the No cards in hand. And I pass. That's how I like it. Which one is like more important? Somehow, like I kept drawing grease fangs. <laughs> These two? Happens. Yeah. Um, at this point in the game, I've got That's six lands. Asking, like, yeah. So, um, very quickly. it's hard to say. I mean, this wins in that win three turns, no matter what. Yeah. Unless you do something. Um, but like being able to cast to two spells and potentially yeah. spend six mana on something else Maybe. is pretty big deal too. Oh. Yeah. So it's hard to say. Um, I don't know the right answer. True. <laughs> huh. it, both, you can make an argument for both, really. Yeah. Maybe these kinds of perils <laughs> Which cards are more broken is definitely fires, but which one's winning me the game right now? I'm gonna... Sky Clay Evaporation? I'm just trying no, to, no, to predict what you drew, because that's double white. Yeah, it's nice to have the option to switch through that. I mean, I've I'm just trying to figure out what I want to get rid of. Um, it's hard. Uh, I think I'm going to do this. I'm going to tap two, worry, play this at instant, instant. return oh. target non land permanent gotcha. to your hand. And that's on an adventure. Yeah. Which one you targeting? That's why I'm trying to figure out. I think I get rid of this, right? I mean, so I mean, you just play it next turn. Yeah, anyways, so like no, whichever one you counter. get rid of, like you get rid of this, like I can just play it for free again. It resets the counters. You get rid of this, you just I just play it again. Yeah, that's there's, why. Like, there's not a good answer, really. Yeah. So yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna get rid of that just so sure. I get rid of the counters. And then that's on an adventure, so. Oh, what does that do? You wanna put, like you can cast the creature side later. Got it. Um, but it's like not in your hand or it's not in play. Got it. Okay, good to know. Do you have any of the Didn't know how that mechanic worked. Yeah. Are you mean like last name wander? Yeah. Yeah. I'm just going to be really mean. I'm sorry. <laughs> Nickel bolus. That's fine. Go up. So you have to exile land. Oh. Oh, that's exiled. This is what I meant. I'm going to be really Oh, you are mean. Really mean. Do it again. And I'll play the land. Pass. Okay. <laughs> I will throw away that nickel bolus to destroy land. That might be... Hmm. I guess I just pass? Yeah, I can't do anything, so... Yeah, that's, that's pretty strong. Like that, It could sacrifice to like make all everything indestructible. Uh, go up. True. Okay. Exile from my hand. That's a little bit pricey for my type, though. <laughs> I will play one. I'm going to cast Cavalier Flame for free. Enough, like, okay. I think that might just be game. Right. I guess that's probably like the um, card I have from this. Gotcha. So I can pump it four times. Yeah. Uh, which makes it ten. Oh, and actually, sorry, when it comes in, I'm going to use its ability. So discard and draw. I'm going to discard these three cards. Okay. Draw three cards. Cool. And then swing for ten. All right. And then pass. How often do you have it where they want to draw? Nice. Uh, very, 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 very. All right, pass. I'll have to discard one anyway, or exile a land anyways, so I'm pretty sure that's just game. It is. I'm going to swing for 10 again. Okay. Right, that goes back to the sideboard. That's hard to deal with that enchantment. Yeah. Let me see if I have anything in my sideboard I could do. That's all my cards. Yeah, let me see if I have anything in my sideboard I can deal with that. I mean, I do have Spell Pierce. 
yeah, spell pierces. I have to play around. See, and that's the thing with like a lot of the flash spirits, is I have to play around to counter spell, and when I don't do anything, you can just flash in your spirit on your end, on my end. So, so that makes it kind of awkward for me to play around. What color is that uh, enchantment? Red. Red. It costs four. <laughs> Hmm. Draw a card. I'm going to play a spell. Play three thing. And then I'll pass. Wait, Mark Channel that way. I will pass. Sideboarding on this is like really difficult. Because I typically want to pull things out of the sideboard during the game. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Might need to like swap out a few cards here. Combo's disgusting. Just the second chance for the Yep. Let's see. And I'm going to pile count my deck. We'll see. Trying to figure out like what I even take out of the deck to swap things out with. Yeah, it's always difficult. I don't even know like in this deck what's appropriate to take out. I'll attack for four. Like I don't have the shield rids yet. I want to put that in here. Because it's just like nuts with the cavalier discarding and drawing and cycling and. and see. My question, actually, I'm wondering, if that does die, would this go into the graveyard instead of being exiled? Because it says when it dies. So how old is the YouTube channel? going from exile to the graveyard. Uh, geez, eight, eight years, I think. I think that's so how long I've been posting videos. Seven years. Sorry, I'm like atrocious at it, shuffling, so you'll have to cringe oh. every time I do it. The uh, so it easiest, instead of trying to use the edges, is the corners. Sure it came back from exile. Like, yeah. At all. No Got problems. it. So, uh, okay. Got it. Yep. Thank you for three, four, five, six, seven. Uh, all right, because you brought that in at the end. Like, I'll shuffle this, and then you'll so just shuffle it better seven. after. It's true. I'm going to, sh I always shuffle my opponent's deck. No sign of disrespect. <laughs> a lot of people have this weird. I don't know. You know, I'd rather have you shuffle it than me yeah, shuffle no. it. If, so. if I shuffle it, I can't accuse you of cheating. Yeah. Um, and it's just good practice and like a competitive REL. You're, you can't not in, at least cut their deck. But most people at comp REL will shuffle it. And it's just good practice so that there's no question of if anyone's cheating, palming their opening hand or something. I assume you'll play first. Yeah. Um. I guess I 
fistful of cards and you keep passing. Mm. Well, it's just things haven't gone well for me. I'm so. gonna <laughs> keep this. So I'm no. just gonna start with playing an island and pass. I, oh, sorry. I'm gonna keep, I guess. Sorry, I forgot. <laughs> yeah. Um, it's not a great hand, but I'll try it. Um, island? Yep. I'm okay. that. Yep. Uh, only I drew that path of yeah. Play a Xander's Lounge. Is that the tricycle Yeah, that, that would have yeah. been good. I also had a farewell, but I was trying to find my island for a while. Um, I could have thrown down a Rafine and then... I'm going to play Glacial Fortress. Doesn't come to tap because I have an island. And I'm going to tap two yeah. to play Watcher of Spheres and it, pass. Or game two. The final. Oh. Alright, I'm gonna pay two life to play that untapped. Um, and then I'll <laughs> I mean, pass. I you did. Yeah. 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 I'm gonna play another Glacial Fortress. And I... I'm gonna tap two to play an Imperium Eagle. All other flying creatures get plus one, plus one, and this also gets plus one because this entered the field. And I'm gonna attack you for four. Go to 14. See, that's a much faster start. It is your co. On your end step, I'm gonna cast Impulse. And this is the original printing, so it actually... What does that do? I look at the top four and take one, and then I can put the other three on the bottom of my library. They remove the shuffle your library afterwards because that doesn't make sense. <laughs> um, that's fine. Okay. It's a really strong card. All right. I like to play with the original printings, but in this in this instance, it's like. It actually does something different. Um, like they changed it completely. So I'll play the Xander's Lounge. Guess I'll pass. Okay. Pay two life to play this untapped. And I. I'm gonna pay. Oh, sorry, that's untapped. I'm gonna play another Imperium Eagle. So this is a 4 4 again, and I'm gonna attack you with both of these. So that's a 3, and that's a 4. 5. Oh, it is a five, you're right. I'm gonna attempt a fatal push the watcher. Okay, uh, I don't know if I can do this, but I'm gonna spell quality that. Uh, I think so. Yeah. Cool. That happens. Uh, so take nine. Yep, that's a five and four. Yeah. Hold up. That's not... Okay, yeah. Because that would get boosted by that. Yeah, so that's so that would three, be three. And that would be a five. five. So you take eight. Eight. Go to six. All right. Okay. Go to my turn. Yep. Need a board wipe here. Wasn't a board wipe. Hmm. I do believe you've got this game. I'll cast an impulse. Okay. Here's the board wipe. Uh, yeah, we'll go to the next game. Okay. Cool. Oh, here's your fatal push. Don't want to take that. Yeah. Yeah, I didn't have a fourth land either. Just 
totally is going to screw up my entire deck doing that, but that's okay. I should just, like, watch one of those videos on how to, like, shuffle the cards and just, like, oh, practice it. So you night. just, like, corner to the middle of the cards. Like, you take, at, like, a 45-degree angle, they'll just slide right together. Okay. And you tried it, so like a lot of people will do the riffle thing, like it's a card, like a deck of cards. <laughs> no. And that bends your cards, no matter what people say. And trust me, I've seen a lot of cards that are bent because of it, including like underground seas, you name it. Um, so like what the the reason that's effective is because you typically have like fifty fifty, and then you, you when you riffle them, you pretty much do one and one together. So like when you do it this way, mashing. You try to do it to where you have half the deck mashed into half the deck. If you're doing like a third of the deck to the half, this whole por portion's unshuffled. Yeah. So that's why I like try to flip. Yeah. I don't know. And it's, I don't know if it makes a difference, but I feel like when when you're just shuffling like this, you take the middle every time and you put it on top. So I feel like if you have like a clump in the bottom of the deck, you don't necessarily move it to the top of the deck. So I usually just do that a couple times too. But I also have problems with drawing lands, so <laughs> maybe I don't offer the best advice. So you make it look so effortless. It is. <laughs> like 23 years worth of shuffling. And, you know, like, Magic players always fiddle with the cards in their hands. So, like, I've definitely just been sitting here shuffling a deck before, like, just having a conversation shuffling the cards. Like, my deck is flipped. Tilt. I will play first this game. Okay. Uh, I'm going to keep... really have to have like a meat hook massacre or path of peril or something yeah meat hook would definitely ruin my game how'd your game go tim oh i got destroyed oh <laughs> spirits too strong i mean I need you to have a slow draw, and I need me to have like a heavy removal draw. Otherwise, I think you get it. Ugh. It's like worse, but I don't want to go to five, so we'll put this back and keep it. All right, I'm gonna lead on a watery grave. Your turn. I'm going to play an island and pass. Water and grave, your turn. I'm going to play planes, tap both to play Watcher of Spheres. Swamp, pass. Okay. I. And play Glacial Fortress, and I am going to tap two to play Imperium Eagle. I'm gonna hit you for four. All I'm right. gonna channel this on the Eagle, uh, which I'm not. I'm not casting a spell. It's just an ability. Is it targeted? It does target that spell. Yes. Okay. Uh. Like would, so this is not resolved. You're not in your combat phase. Got it. So this is yeah, on the stack, yeah. and I've activated the channel ability of this to counter unless you pay three. Um, I mean, I'll just—it's a learning thing for me right now. But if I play rattle chains, give this hex proof with that counter. It. It's not on the stack. Uh, it's not on the board yet. Oh. Got it. So it's still a spell. It hasn't resolved. Got it. 
That makes sense. All right. Uh, yep. All right. Um, well, I will still do this. I'll play rattle chains sure. and I'll attack for three. Yep. 17. All set? Yep. Red mana one time. Not red mana. I feel like I just kind of have to do it though, even though it doesn't do much. Me hook for one. Got it, okay. So that dies. Yep, just that this. That doesn't. Uh, and I gain a life. Good turn. I missed a land drop. How many more will I miss? Find out shortly. Okay. I even put in a land. I sideboarded in a land. <laughs> That's why I said this is probably going to screw my whole deck up. <laughs> That's funny. All right. Um, yeah, it doesn't even matter. I'm play Imperium Eagle, <laughs> and I will. It's four, right? Yep, four. Fourteen. All right, year go. No, year go. All right. It's over. I think I, I think I fall too far behind now. So I'll need to draw a red source and a four mana board wipe. Because my hand is full of five drops right now. Uh, well, in this scenario, would I just want to try killing you as yeah. fast as possible? Yeah, like, if, I'm, if, if I'm stumbling on lands, yeah. So like, would it be like a bad idea to just like dump my hand? Um, to get in extra damage isn't a bad idea, but I do have blue mana up, so you, you could play around sp uh, like counter spells. Yeah. Like you definitely have. So you're swinging for five. You got me on a three turn clock, doing nothing. Yeah. I, it's just like trying to figure out how I play yeah. like this without like. It's so like I know you have stuff to board clear, right. so I don't want to like. Over, if you do over that, extend, yeah, yeah. Um, I'll do this. I'm gonna tap one, play rattle chains. I'll give this hex proof, and I'll Back swing in. Curse. So that's six. Six, yeah. Go to eight. Yep. Here also, go. I guess I'll just cast that as a 1 4. Alright, uh, I'll play Lofty Denial. Counter targets. Wow. Yep. That's probably game then. Your turn. Yep. Alright, uh, I'm just gonna tap, play. This, I'll tap this to play this, and if I swing in with... Yeah, it's game. It's game. So I have... I sideboarded one of those out because it's kind of slow. So I have two of those in my hand. I have a Nickel Bolas. I have a Board Wipe. And the Fires. Oh, you just <laughs> didn't have the mana. I didn't have a, a red mana. There it was. <laughs> that would have given me... Red. But see, even in that case... So I cast Fires, and I literally can't cast anything else. Yeah. Like... They're all fives in my hand, so that's like the awkward part. And then I, well, who knows after I shuffle what I draw, but yeah. So that was just like I drew too many high CMC stuff there, and I didn't want to go to five. I probably should have. I had three lands, the crab. I think these two, and I think I drew those later. Yeah. So yeah, so that was a rough draw. Good game. Yeah. Good game. <laughs>